Today we're going to talk about the differences between TIG and laser welding and for that comparison we're going to be welding on a plate of P20 tool steel, very common in the tool and die industry. Um, and after welding a one by one inch pad, both TIG and laser, um, we're going to cut that up in our MET lab in-house and provide a full cross section so you can see the both heat affected zone and the hardness of those two different welds. So those of you who aren't familiar with laser welding, um, similar to TIG, however, instead of wearing the hood or shield that you're used to with TIG welding, our operator's looking through the microscope that has crosshairs down here at the workpiece. And then instead of using the conventional torch, he's using a joystick with his right hand and then filler wire with the other, and then using a foot pedal to power the laser. So one thing you can see as we've got the TV hooked up to the laser, this is exactly what Mike's seeing through the microscope with the crosshairs. Um, he's adjusting the X, Y, and can also adjust the Z when needed with his joystick, but traveling down, and it looks like he's just stacking dimes as with the laser, we're pulsing about 10 to 12 times per second. Um, so that weld pedal is instantaneously liquefying and then solidifying again, and that's what keeps the heat input at such a minimum. All right, we're back in the TIG weld room now. Most of you are prior, probably familiar uh, with TIG welding, so I won't dive into the details of the process too much. Similar to Mike on the laser, uh, Devin is TIG welding a one by one inch pad. But as you can see back here, um, just a lot more heat input with the conventional TIG welding. Because of that, distortion and warpage becomes more of a concern. Um, than the pulsed laser welding. Um, so that's just always something to consider. And as I've mentioned, the biggest differentiator between um, the conventional process and the laser welding. So the biggest difference is when comparing TIG and laser is the precision we're able to weld with and the limited heat input. The heat affected zone from laser welding is gonna be about eight to 10 thou while it's gonna be 10 times greater with TIG welding, so we're gonna be around 80 to 100 grams. As for weld quality, the MET lab analysis reveals a larger heat affected zone and increased hardness in the TIG sample compared to the laser sample.